All right, guys, uh, pop singer Lizzo decides she is no longer a vegan. As a former vegan who added protein to her diet. My reintroduction to protein started with Japan. Someone suggested I try a Japanese diet because it's one of the health. Um, let's get into that a little bit. Yeah, I just got back from Oklahoma. I talked to the state legislature about funding some carnivore type research. I'll talk about that in another video. It went well, but the short answer is it went well. Anyway, so Lizzo declares, I guess yesterday on her Instagram, that I, what I'm eating as a higher protein ex-vegan. Of course, this prompted the cries of desperation from the vegan cult members saying, oh my God, you were never a vegan. How dare you? And don't you care about the animals? And the usual uh, nonsense that they always like to, to spout, you know? And, you know, the reality is, and this is the reality, the modern ve vegan diet is just a vehicle for, for which you eat more processed foods. And I know there's people out there, oh, I eat a whole food plant-based diet. But the reality is most people, when they do a vegan diet today, and again, this still remains a tremendous minority, will eat vegan junk food. And this is what, this is why veganism has been propped up over recent years, is because cheap processed food companies have been pushing money into this so they can sell you more of their garbage product. Now, veganism probably peaked sometime in the late 2010. It looks like the data shows somewhere around 2018. And then it started to decline, interestingly, with the rise of, of, a, of a carnivorous diet being something that a lot of people are, are you know, opting for instead. Um, but, you know, again, Lizzo goes from, you know, morbidly obese, vegan, body positivity person to someone who is still, quite honestly, morbidly obese, but on the way down, hopefully will distance herself from the body positivity movement. Obviously, she has a lot of influence and millions and gazillions of followers. She's quite a, quite a talented singer. But... Again, I think she still is, you know, and speculation is maybe she's taking these weight loss drugs as epic or something like that, which may or may not be true. I don't know. Uh, could certainly could be. And, uh, you know, I think one thing I like to see is she's consuming more, more protein, particularly more animal protein. The other thing I do see is she probably is suffering from some level of food addiction. And again, in my view, in my experience as a, as a clinician working with thousands and thousands of people over the years, that when you're dealing with chronic disease and obesity falls into that category, you are dealing very often with some form of addiction and particularly processed food, ultra processed food addiction. I should be, be uh, uh, more more specific on that. And I think she probably still is dealing with some component of that. Um, and it's, you know, this is one of the reasons why a carnivorous diet is very effective for that because it allows you to finally just abstain. You know, you know, you don't tell an alcoholic, hey, have a, have a, have a beer or two on the weekend, you'll be fine. That's not how you beat and defeat alcoholism. In the same way, when people are morbidly obese, they very likely, very commonly deal with food addiction. And you don't beat a food addiction by moderation. That's just the reality, you know. Anyway, good on you, Lizzo, for, for doing the right thing for your own health. And again, uh, you know, and, and you know, it's a shame that these wacko vegans start attacking like, I mean, it's predictable. They, they come in like a drone army. Oh, you, what about the animals? Are you were never a vegan. This is a, this is a nonsense you continue to see. Um, you know, I, uh, like I said, hopefully you'll continue to, to do the right thing lifestyle wise, wise and, and, you know, again, distance yourself from the body positivity stuff. It's actually harming people and it harms you quite honestly. Um, all right. Let me know what you guys think. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.